Hello friends, welcome. Let us take one more case of game theory or say basics of game theory. And this will be the last case in case of basics of game theory. The question is for what value of x the following game is strictly determinable. The value of x appear in all the three column and row. Now for what value of x the game can be strictly determinable. First of all let us examine the present situation. Let us take row minimum. Ignoring x in the first row minimum is 2. In the second row minimum is minus 7. And in the third row minimum is minus 2. Out of which 2 is the maximum value. Now it is turn of column maximum. In the first column ignoring x the maximum value is minus 1. In the second it is 6. In the third it is 2. Out of which minimum is minus 1. This is minimax. Minimum of the maximum. Uh, to have the gain strictly determinable, maximum equals to minimax equals to value of gain. Here it is not. Maximum is not equal to minimax. And under such situation, we have to take maximum as the value of gain. So, all the three are not equal. So, the gain at present is not strictly determinable. This is the situation at present. Now the question is for what value of x the game can be strictly determinable. The answer is now with us. To have this game strictly determinable minimax should not be less than minus 1 and maximum should not be greater than 2. The game to be strictly determinable minimax should not be less than minus 1 and at the same time maximum should not be greater than 2 the present values so only if so only if x takes value between minus 1 and 2 x takes value between minus 1 and 2 only if x takes value between minus 1 and 2, the gam can be strictly determinable. I suggest you all to assume three types of values of x. One is less than minus 1, another is greater than 2 and the third is between these two. That means any of minus 1 0, 1 and 2. Put them into the matrix at the place of x and observe what happens. This conclusion will be proved very. But you have to perform three trials. One by taking value of x as less than minus 1, say minus 1, minus 2 or less. Another value as greater than 2, say 3 or more, you can take exactly 2 in that case, exactly minus 2 in this case. And one value between these two, you can take say 0, 1 or exactly 2 or exactly minus 1, any. But don't forget to make all these three trials and observe the conclusion. That will be the same. Thank you very much.